Hey there, I want you to pause with me for a second today and say, there is favor where I'm headed. There is favor for where you are headed. Favor is basically God leaning into your direction and giving you what you don't deserve or what you don't qualify for. Psalm 90 and 17 says, let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and establish the work of our hands upon us. Who does the Bible say that God favors? Our world favors the powerful, the wealthy, the successful, the accomplished. But the Bible over and over again tells us that God loves to set his favor upon the powerless, the poor, the disqualified, the disenfranchised, those who are desperate for the life that they can only be able to live in him. We can see that in scripture. He prefers the weak and homeless Israelites in scripture. He, he favors the widow and the orphan in scripture. Jesus favors little children over and over again. Maybe you needed to hear this today. He can give you favor today. He can give you favor and grant favor to those who feel they don't deserve it or feel they're not qualified. Favor can come in a form of creativity or capacity or connectivity. He can do it through inspired creativity. God will give you thoughts and concepts and dreams and insight that you didn't come up with by yourself and you know it. He'll inspire Moses to throw his staff down and let it become a snake in order to convince Pharaoh to turn over the bondage of the Israelites. God will increase your capacity for him. He'll allow you to go from being the cupbearer to the king to being the person that rebuilds the wall like Nehemiah. He'll influence your connectivity. He'll connect you with people. Look at Ruth and Naomi. Look at Elisha and Elijah. He'll put you with people more powerful than you. Whatever you're putting your hands to, work in your capacity and allow God's favor to take care of the rest.